Okay, welcome, welcome everybody to today's meeting of the Jones Library Building Committee. Uh, when I call your name, if you would just uh, indicate verbally so we'll know that you can hear and be heard. Sharon? Here. Christine? Here. Alex? Here. Dawn? Here. Paul? Present. George? Here. And Austin is here. Okay, the first item of business is the approval of minutes of the meeting of June 8th. Is there a, meet, a motion to approve the minutes? Austin, one sec, um, real quick, sorry to interrupt. Um, Anika, okay, she's being brought over in her mind, I saw in the audience. I'll make that motion to approve the minutes. Since... Thank you, thank you, Sean. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. Um, Anika, are you are you able to hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Great. So Anika is present. Paul, you wanted to second the motion? I do. Okay. So any uh, corrections to the minutes? <clears throat> <laughs> okay. To approve the minutes, Sharon. Yes. Thank you, Christine. Abstain. Alex. Uh, yes. George. Uh, abstain. Paul. Yes. Sean. Yes. And Austin votes. Uh, uh, excuse me, Anika. Yes. And Austin votes yes. Thank you for that. Next item is the report from the town manager. Nothing new to report. Looking forward to today's meeting though. Thank you, Paul. Okay, next is the uh, finance update. Sean. So we'll um, start with invoices. Um, Sharon, can you allow me to share my screen? Yeah. Um, so the first one, this is for Collier's, and this is through um, April. Uh, note, we have a new lower monthly rate. This is related to extending out the, um, the length of this uh, pre-bidding phase. So our new monthly rate will be $79.84. Um, so this is for April services. This is through May, or for May services, same rate. Again, it's a flat monthly rate. Right. Um, and we have one more invoice, a smaller invoice um, from FAA. This is uh, for work that the furniture consultant, Stephora, uh, started. Um, so it's a small, for initial payment, small payment for that. Okay, motion to approve the minutes. I mean, minutes, the invoices. I move to approve the uh, two invoices from Collier's and one from uh, Fine Gold Alexander. Thank you, Sean, a second. Second. Thank you. Are there any questions about the invoices? Okay, voting to approve. Sharon? Yes. Christine? Yes. Alex? Yes. George? Yes. Paul? Yes. Sean? Yes. Austin votes yes. Thank you for that. Next is... Um, Colliers. So, Will, are you are you going to lead us through the Colliers presentation? It, I believe so. Yeah, looks. I know Tim was trying to join, but I will take us through. Let me just share my screen. <laughs> And everybody see that? Yes. yes. Great. So we'll start with schedule here. You can see this is where we are in June of 2023. Um, we are done with the design development phase and the cost estimating that went along with that. And 
hopefully um, at the end of this meeting, uh, we'll come to an agreement to have Feingold Alexander start the construction document phase, which yeah. is the final design phase um, of the project. Any questions on schedule for now? <laughs> well, um, Austin, can I ask a question? Sure. Yes. yes, sure. Go ahead. Well, we're still on track um, to finish the construction document documents phase um, by the date that we've worked on with MBLC. Correct. Okay. Any other questions about the schedule? Okay, Will. Great. I don't have a presentation, but uh, I saw permitting was on the agenda. Um, next week, uh, Tim and I will be meeting with Christine Brestrup and Jennifer Mullins with the town to keep pushing the various approval and permitting process um, through. Um, next week, we will also be submitting the plumbing variants for the gender neutral bathroom. And Feingold Alexander will be starting to compile the uh, documents to submit for our building permit prior to July 1st, which is when a new um, code goes into effect. So we want to make sure um, we've at least gotten our documents submitted prior to then so we can continue to design off the old code. That's all. Awesome. I've got awesome. Can I ask another question? Sure. Yeah. Um, well, how long does the um, the variance process take? Or maybe this is for um, Ellen. Uh, is it something we'll know within a few weeks, or is it a they long? they meet the first Wednesday of every month um, to review variances? So this we know roughly first second week of July. Um, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, next item. Next item, I believe we had the, we'll go into the cost estimate. Great. And budget that was attached in the packet. Great. Don't need to go through the, all the line items here, but you can see in the very last page, this yellow 342461. Um, that is $34,246,000, which is good news. That is roughly, as you can see, roughly close to $2 million less than um, our previous budget, which is good news um, for the construction budget. I you you want to go down just uh, just a squinch so we can see actually see the numbers there. There. there you go. There you go. So obviously this is a snapshot in time, um, and we'll be doing one more cost estimate estimation um, at about seventy five percent complete of the construction documents, just to do a final check on the budget before. Um, we go for town council vote and um, into the bid phase of the project. So um, we're holding our overall budget for now, um, but it's much better news than our last cost estimate during schematic design. So that's a good thing. Just to be clear, Will, these are the reconciled cost estimates. Correct. These are uh, the two estimators met for a day, um, made sure they were comparing apples to apples, and this is the number that um, we agreed upon. Just so that everybody knows, please remind us who the cost estimators were. Tennessee um, and RLB. Tennessee is for the, um, was working for FAA and RLB for the town. Right. Okay. I just want to ask one other question before uh, others. 
based on your experience, and here, uh, Tim or Ellen Josephine will, based on your experience, Three. how good a predictor is this cost estimate of what we're likely to get at the next one? I would say it's a pretty good predictor. Obviously, things change in the you know the design process, but this is there's that much more detail since the last cost estimate. So the risk, I should say, is going down. Um, yeah, I, I would I would echo that. Just saying that as we go through the uh, as as the design team goes through the design process, um, estimators carry what they call design contingency. So they know what should be there in the document by the end, but they don't know exactly what it is. So they put a percentage against it. So the further, the more we have for them to actually estimate, the better the numbers are going to be. Um, at least the more confidence we can have in those numbers. So um, with these numbers coming in, uh, both um, relatively close and both under budget um, with where we are in, in the document phase, um, we should feel pretty comfortable that uh, as we go forward, those numbers are just going to solidify and, and hopefully the market helps us out um, in the end as far as uh, inflation and what we're carrying as an inflation number. Um, and then that we have a, a good bid environment when the time comes, because really ultimately that's what it's going to come down to. Who's available to, to bid this at that time? Uh, it might, would also be useful if in addition to showing the total construction cost, if you could go down further and show us the projected total project cost. So, well, I would go back to the, um, do we have our budget summary? This, this yeah. summary? Thing? Yeah. Yeah, so our, our total project, again, is 46.1. Um, that's our budget. And so that, as we just said, as well just said, we haven't changed that based on the current snapshot showing that we're under budget. Um, that's showing that we're we're doing good. We're we're on target. Um, unlike the last time where we had to make a correction to the budget, that which was back in September, I believe. Um, so we can hold tight with this forty six point one um, and continue moving forward. I'm not sure I understand that. I think it needs a little more explanation. So we've we've the construction cost estimate has been reduced by two million dollars. That's Why? just an estimate, yeah. So we are we are we would be projecting a total project cost uh, of two million dollars less than what you are showing us. Is that correct? Yes. But you're showing that we're we we're, we're holding on to a budget of forty six million when the total project cost would be more like. 43 million or 44 million. Correct. Yes. I think, you know, this is, we, we developed a budget that we're back in September that we're willing to work with and we're designing to that budget. We're working towards that budget, but it's good news where we've, the estimate came in below that, but, um, you know, in two months time, the market could be different. Things could be changed. Um, we wouldn't want to adjust the budget every with every snapshot. Um, and it's not really what the purpose of doing these estimates for is, is to verify that we're on budget, not to change our budget. So again, I'm going to ask. Certainly, you, certainly you could do that if you wanted to, if you decided to. Well, I, I, I may be asking, may have asked the wrong question. Uh, the question I was trying to get at is what is the, es the current estimate of the total project cost? So that would be, um, Will, if you can go to the other sheet that does show uh, a revised, uh, that shows it with the current there, there budget number. There we go. So the total project cost right now, you are, you have at about $43 million, $43,900,000. Yes. <laughs> okay. So questions about the cost estimation. Yeah, Sean. 
Tim, is it, um, you may not know this offhand, is it 8% escalation that they're carrying for roughly a year? Um, that's what, it, that's what it looked like, but I kind of, I'd do the, I probably could just grab my calculator and figure it out, but the 2.2 .2 million. Yeah, so um, the, the two estimators, uh, you know, they didn't necessarily agree on, on the, um, Escalation, but we had a, a reconciled number of that 2.2, .2, but I don't have the um, percentage okay. um, in front of me. But I think you already mentioned if escalation gets back into a normal place of 4 or 5%, that might be help us offset any other increases that might come up over the next year. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Other questions about the cost estimation? Alex. Thanks. Um, I guess I just wanted to understand um, when you're comparing um, the 46 million against the 43 million, I guess I want to understand, is the 46 million the number that we arrived at after we did the value engineering? So are we comparing sort of apples to apples, like the value engineered end number with what that costs today? Or are we looking at sort of what the project was before we did the value engineering? I think that was post value engineering um, when it was recognized that there was a, a major shift in the market. And so the budget had to be adjusted. So we're comparing um, that number from September, that 46 million, to what it's currently estimated to be at, which is, is 43. Okay. And, and I think, thank you. And I think that we, I know one of the things we had talked about was synthetic slate and I unfortunately wasn't able to attend the last meeting, but I think we looked at synthetic slate and I know that was sort of in the budget, out of the budget. And I know that that was a cost savings as well. So I don't know, that's probably one thing that wasn't maybe in the 46 million. So that might be an additional savings that we're seeing as well, possibly. No, I believe that was in there, Alex. Okay. That switch to synthetic slate. I, okay. I believe we took that savings right. to okay. get us to the 46. Thanks, Alan. Other questions about the cost estimation? And Tim, I appreciate the word that you used. I, this is really good news from the point of view of the, of the project. Uh, it's really good news when combined with the success that we are having in fundraising. So this is really... Uh, really good news to share. Okay. Uh, if there are no other question, questions on the cost estimate, the next item under Collier's is the design development package approval. So based on where we are with the um, cost estimates, um, the, the, you know, the design development um, package is what was used to develop these these costs and um, we're looking for approval from the committee to be able to um, uh, move into the next phase um, so we want to have the design team start construction documents um, and as we'll add in the schedule earlier it showed that that bar would would go for the next several months um, and I, I apologize I don't have the schedule in front of me. Will, do you want to go back to the schedule? There you go. Yep. So there you are, Tim. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, put my glasses on so I can see it. So yes. So the construction documents um, essentially would go into um, um, the late fall, and then we would go into the uh, bidding phase in uh, in December. All right. Schedule shows construction documents completion looks like mid-November and the cost estimation late October, early November. Yeah, as Will mentioned, we'll do a cost estimate again at the 75 percent set. Yep. So again, take a snapshot in time and just again, verify we're on target. Um, right. And at that time, um, you know, make adjustments as, as necessary. Great. Okay, is there a motion um, relevant here, Sean? Yeah, so the motion would be to recommend 
that the town manager authorize um, moving to the construction documents phase. Um, our contract, ultimately, the town manager um, is the authority to move us. So if the committee, so that would be the motion if anyone wants to make it to, to recommend to the town manager that uh, he had authorized moving to the construction documents phase. Okay, is there a second to that motion? George, George is seconded. Okay, discussion of the motion. Alex. Thanks. And I apologize if I missed this at the last meeting, um, but I, I guess, so in signing off on the design development, things like the landscaping and, you know, the rooms and I assume anything related to Eversource and whatever we need to do from an energy perspective. I guess I just want to make sure all those ducks are in a row or or can be put in a row like after we sign off on this because those are the bits I guess I'm not sure where we stand on those. So I just want to make sure that either we'll have the opportunity or that they are handled. Are there open questions? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Sean. I would say if there's open questions. Um, we would want to know that, yeah, now before going to the next phase. I mean, if there's questions that have need to be answered before moving to construction documents. Tim, well, Ellen, do you have do you have an answer to that question? I'm not aware of anything that um, um, would prevent us from moving forward. Um, you know, any questions that we have would really be in the further development of the design, which. Um, is really when we'll start getting into the details or Ellen and her team will start getting into the details um, uh, in, in the construction document phase. Alex, do you want to make sure that your question's getting answered? Yeah, yeah, thanks. So I, I guess I, I just want to make sure, I mean, one that I know of, we haven't finalized the landscaping, if I miss that bit, and I apologize. Um, and then in terms of Furnishing, obviously, we haven't seen anything yet, but I'm thinking about the sense of the room. Um, and then also, I'm thinking about the energy efficiency. Like, I, I assume we are where we're supposed to be with the EUI, but I don't know. And I, and I also don't know um, where we are relative to hitting any goals we need to for um, the incentives and rebates and things we get back from Eversource. So if those are three things that are still planning on happening during construction documents, that's great. But if that's something where we're supposed to have that resolved and there aren't further opportunities, then that's, I guess, my question. Ellen, no. Wait a minute, Ellen? Yes, uh, thanks, Alex. Um, I can, I'm gonna give it to Josephine, but I just wanted to add to the group, we have 20 weeks to finish this as per our agreement in which we think is sufficient, but we're coming up against it to meet the MBLC deadline in November. So that, to us, all of us as a group, we have to meet that date. So okay. with that said, Justine, could you just comment on the uh, where we are for the interiors and stuff, but sure. the rebates and, and things, Alex, I, I honestly don't know where they are. And I don't know if Craig was handling that. Go ahead, Justine. Yeah, just to jump quickly on rebates um, and credits, I think maybe that might be something Will might, or Tim might want to chime in on just because I know- It's hard to hear you, Justine. Sorry. Um, can you hear me better now? Can you turn it up your mic? Yeah, give me one second. It's up all the way. <laughs> okay. okay. Can, better? Okay, great. Um, so for the um, incentives for Eversource, um, Craig was working with them and Will, you might have um, something to add to that of where you guys are. So we can't quite speak to where we are as far as that goes, but we can speak to all of the other things that um, Alex mentioned. So I'll just run through those quickly. And then um, Tim and Will, if you want right. to chime in on the Eversource portion, you can. Um, as far as the um, furnishings and interior finishes, we are actually already communicating with Stefiora and that will be happening on the early part of um, the CD startup. Um, as Ellen mentioned, we do have 20 weeks to go through um, the construction documents. So we will be hitting all of these elements at the early stages of CDs. Um, we're actually already looking at dates of when we would be um, coming out next to review interior finishes. Um, 
to review landscaping. That will be another item on the hit list at the very early um, stages of, um, of CDs. We went through multiple reviews with um, all of you and MBLC and, um, and uh, Rachel and our team at Berkshire. They have a list of things that they're you know, that are on the top of the list to start CDs with. So we would have another review with you folks um, on that. Um, for sustainability, um, we already have it on our schedules to um, run an energy model and um, after approval, um, a tally um, calculation to, at the onset of CDs to make sure that we are where we um, plan to be. Um, the last, you know, we looked at things, we were on target, um, but of course we will run those numbers again um, at the, at the early, early stages of construction documents as well. Great. Tim or Will, do you have an answer on the Eversource question? Will, I don't know if you have any specific information. I don't have an update, but typically um, we need to give the um, utility company uh, the specifications and, and show them what types of equipment we're planning on using. Um, so as we get closer, we're sending, we'll send them the actual um, uh, equipment list so that they can provide us with a um, um, the cost savings based on the equipment we're proposing versus what would be um, uh, their baseline. So we'll need some. Uh, ever, ever, ever source would really be uh, another. We'd send them the documents again, and it would really just be a check in to make sure from schematic through design um, that we're still on target. Um, from the last time they saw the documents. So there isn't, it's not as though the time's passed for Eversource. It's kind of an ongoing process until even through construction really um, for them. Alex, are you satisfied? Um, I, I think I sort of, I mean, I, again, I'm, I, I'm not looking to prolong the process. I'm trying to understand what we've set out as goals and where we are today. And, and for example, you know, when we run the energy model and the tally calculation, if for some reason we're not where we expect to be, but we've already signed off on design development, I mean, is that just, like too bad? Or is there like, will we then shift to make sure that we get, like, I'm just trying to understand the process because this is my first building. <laughs> sure. That's Oh, and I think I might be talking. That's a it. legitimate question, Alex. <laughs> um, I can't give you an answer because I don't, I, we haven't done a lot of, I mean, we run energy models all the time, right? On all of our projects for years, we've been doing that. So typically they stay in a line, right? Tally is relatively newish. Um, so we are assuming, and Josephine, you can chime in that we, we will be fine because we haven't changed our course of action. It's still the big picture. So I, I don't know. I'm hoping that we're good to go, <clears throat> but we won't know till we have that. And I guess the question, uh, again, I'm sorry, Alex, trying to get this pinned. It's supposed to run it and it doesn't look right. The question I hear Alex asking is, what do we do? I don't know. It depends why it does, it depends what's off on it. So I'll ask the question again in a slightly different way. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it too late once we've signed off on these, once you're into construction documents to make any adjustments? That's what I hear Alex ask. And, and by adjustments, I only mean to make sure we're getting to what we said we were gonna do, not that I'm gonna suddenly change. Yeah a skylight or something, not that kind of change. I mean, I, I, Austin, I'm not quite sure how to answer you because I don't know till we run it. So if we run it and something's off and we need to add insulation or we yep. need something else is off and we need to do that, yep. we won't know till we do it. And I, Alex, I want to give you an answer. I want to say, yes, we'll be fine. And it's only, if it's tweaking things, we're good to go. But if something comes back, it's like crazy. I think then we have a discussion. But the thing that 
is in my mind is the MBLC date yep. of November, whatever. Cause if we don't hit that date, you yep. don't get that money. Yep. And that's, so we're trying to juggle all these things. So Alex, I'm to be honest, I hope we hit it and we will have, I mean, what we'll do is uh, Josephine and I will, will have conversations with our mechanical folks and our in-house sustainability uh, group to see if, you know, just on the surface, is there anything that we should be really worried about? Sean? Um, just along the same lines, I guess, um, what does the meeting schedule look like for the next phase? Is it gonna be more intense meetings no. as we get kind of the same schedule? It won't, so it won't be more. I mean, Josephine, you can chime in. We're gonna have, <laughs> continue to have design meetings about the interiors and stuff and some specific meetings about the overall um, building, but we had a really good meeting last week. Yeah, it was last week where we um, got close to the color of the brick in outside materials. We're gonna come back to Amherst with larger samples and we'll pick those. So it's not a lot of design meetings. What we are doing is actually drawing and figuring things out, but there will be interior design meetings as uh, we need another landscape meeting. So we have to, we'll have to get work with uh, Colliers and, and publish that. Okay. Uh, go ahead. It'd be good to know. But also in addition, we have a number of meetings we have to meet uh, with folks in the town and the, Hot one on my head is the historic folks. Absolutely, yep. And we had a great reaction from a, a person in the in the audience last week from the historic group who loved what we presented. So, right, I, it's positive. Right. Could we take down this slide that's in front of us? Okay. okay. Other questions? Remember, the motion on the table is to recommend to the town manager that we move from design development into the construction drawing phase. Any other questions about that? Okay, are we ready to vote? Uh, voting on the motion to recommend to the town manager. Sharon? Yes. Alex? Yeah. George. Yes. Thank you. Sean. Yes. Uh, Christine. Yes. Anika. Yes. And Austin votes yes. Paul, I assume you don't want to vote on whether we should recommend something to you. Whichever, yeah. I vote yes. Okay, good. All right. Thank you. That is um, that is. That is great. And again, very exciting moment for this project as was the meeting on the 8th, uh, seeing the, the bricks, uh, just really, 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 really great. Really great to see the progress that you all are making. Uh, subcommittee reports, <laughs> Christine. <laughs> no, nothing to report. Thank you, Christine. Alex. We haven't met. Okay. Correspondence, uh, none that I know of. Topics not anticipated by the chair 48 hours in advance, none that I'm aware of. So next is an opportunity for public comment. We have seven people in the audience. Again, thanks to all of you for coming. If anyone would like to make a comment, please raise your virtual hand. Okay, I see no uh, no public comment. Again, thanks to everybody for coming. So that completes our agenda for today. Again, I wanna say uh, the cost estimate, seeing the brickworks, moving into this phase of construction document, knowing the uh, success that our capital fundraising is uh, generated, uh, I just think it's, we're, we're, we're in a moment of good news for the uh, renovation and expansion of the Jones Library. So, okay.
Stay well, everybody. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.